and another one. Hello everyone, how are you today? I hope everyone is in good health and in good shape. By the way, my name is Ruel. I am a freelance singer, I am a music teacher, and I am a choir conductor. I was actually YouTubing one day when I came across with this beautiful cover of this beautiful song entitled Through the Fire by Gigi Dilana and uh, we all know that this song is a big song, it's a great song and it has been a hit since way back then and up to the present. And this was made popularized by the world's uh, one of the world's uh, greatest vocalists of all time and she is an, none other than Chaka Ken and uh, I said to myself that this is a very very good material for me to really react to this song and without much delay let's uh, dive into my reaction in 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1 yeah it's from Tritone Studios and it's something like GG Vibes Live oh wow I look in your eyes and I can see Ooh. with love so dangerously you're not trusting your heart to anyone oh my I'm so sorry, I really cannot contain myself. You know, I'm so sorry for this early reaction. I really cannot contain myself without pointing out this part. This part is so, so worth noticing. Man, she looks beautiful in here. She looks amazingly beautiful in here. She looks beautiful in her, you know, long black wavy hair and the way she projects herself. Man, she's so stunning. Yeah. You tell me you're gonna play All right, uh, she has a beautiful and unique tone. Her tone is something like wide, bright, and light, and wide-ranged. And her tone is something like crystal clear. Yeah, it's so, so clear. I mean, singers with this kind of tone are really the ones who can really, you know, hit beautiful high notes up there. And I'm sure Gigi is not an exception. All right. I think we really have to, you know, go back at the start to really, you know, point out some of the uh, vocal techniques, amazing vocal techniques, and the uh, vocal embellishments that she affixed in the first verse of the song. So let's go back. All right, notice in the first word of the first verse of the song that I, I mean, that 
I vowel. Notice how she made that beautiful, smart approach in attacking the I vowel. Yeah, the I vowel actually is one of the deadliest vowels in singing, especially when it is placed in the high notes. Now, basically, the I vowel is a mouth vowel. Yeah, it's a mouth vowel and uh, it's a spready vowel. This vowel usually pushes the airflow outside of the mouth. And when this happens, this poses a very, very huge and great problem to some singers. Okay, now when the I vowel is in the upper notes or in the higher notes, the sounds, I mean, the singer should not spread his mouth like this, like, hi, hi. Rather, the singer should do something like this, hi, hi, so that the resonance of the vowel, the resonance of the vowel is, will be, you know, preserved and intact and the resonance is will still be something like whole and solid and round and a little bit darker and Gigi just did all of those notice that she sparingly opened her mouth when she attacked the I vowel in the first verse of the song let's go back again okay That in one. Your eyes and I can see uh -huh. Did you see her lips? Did you see her mouth? She sparingly opened it. And that's a very beautiful, smart way to attack I vowel in a song. So let's continue. Love so dangerously. You're not trusting your heart to anyone. You tell me your heart. Gonna play it smart Through before we start I believe that we've only just begun When it's this good There's no saying no Wow, super cool I want you so I'm ready to go All right as the song started to build up, her mouth started to open up, and then she affixed her initial vibrato in this particular portion of the song. The vibrato is just so, so simple, but I know in the later part of the song, she will affix some of her super, super beautiful, reverberating, powerful, strong vibrato. And notice also that she started to, you know, uh, fix uh, some uh, of her, you know, amazing dynamics in here. Sometimes she goes uh, uh, louder and sometimes she goes uh, softer. And uh, that will be showcased uh, more as we continue. The fire, to the limit, to wow. The For a to be with you. Wow, super I cool. Oh my, so cool, so smooth, so soft. I mean, yeah, she had a different attack in the chorus of the song, you know. Some, you know, popular singers who covered this uh, song uh, did something like this when they reached that chorus of the song. They immediately belted. But 
Gigi here has a unique, different approach in the chorus of this song. What she did was just to, you know, make the song, the chorus, so soft and smooth and cool. And she did that by shifting from her uh, chest voice to her falsetto mix or her head voice. And then vice versa. Now, one must be a keen listener when Gigi is shifting from her speaking voice or from her chest voice to her falsetto mix or ch to her uh, head voice because the way she shifted from this particular register of the song to the next register of the song is so seamless you can hardly notice it she's that sad. she's that smart very very smart wow let's go back That's one. Oh man. My so pleasing to the ears. Wow, I love that. Yes, I know you're afraid of what you feel. You still need time to heal. And I can help if you lonely let me try. Alright, notice that in the second verse of the song, she started opening her mouth and she started to get louder and she's now starting to you know affix some beautiful vibrant vibrato yeah let's continue you touch me and it's something in me new what i can have with you oh, i'm not ready to kiss that dream goodbye Ah, uh, my, was that a vocal twang? Ah, uh, okay, let's go back. I heard a vocal twang in there in when she, you know, when she hit the word ready. Okay, let's go back. Was it a vocal twang? I mean, yeah, let's go back. Just a little. All right. That one, that one. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I mean, it's not the usual way when we sing the word ready without that, you know, without that uh, vocal technique or vocal embell embellishment. But Gigi did something beautiful in the word ready. She applied a vocal twang, okay? A vocal twang actually is that, you know, crazy sound or crazy voice that, you know, singers uh, affix um, in their songs to make the resonance more enhanced and to, you know, affix. I mean, yeah, to affix and to showcase a uh, beautiful performance and uh, beautiful, amazing artistry in the song. That was just beautiful. That's, that's what we call the vocal twang. Wow. Oh, 
All right. Notice that in the second chorus of the song, she started to belt it all. She opened her mouth that wide, and the, her 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 resonance got something like bolder and uh, higher and bigger. Yeah, let's continue. That one. The beautiful ribs. Wow. Notice the kind of vibrato that she affixed in here. It's the usual vibrato that we hear, we usually hear from her. I mean, at the start, it was just the initial vibrato. I mean, that, you know, shy and timid vibrato. <laughs> That's the word that I can, you know, describe the, the, uh, her vibrato in the first part of the song. But in this part, the vibrato is something like Gregoria, something like sociable and gorgeous. It's bolder, it's dynamic, it's something like ah, stronger and Powerful and beautiful, of course. Let's continue. my what note is that i mean let's let's go back let's go back and find out what note is that okay okay let's find out what note is that? Okay, let's find out. And let's find out what note was that. Actually, the first, uh, yeah, the first lyric of the song started in A flat four. It's something like here. And that note, to the test of time. Where is that? Here, here. Okay, that time, time, that time, that note in time is something like E flat 5. And she raised it to something like F sharp 5. And then go back and forth. She went back and forth to the two high notes. So beautiful. So, yeah. Yee, that great. I'm so excited now. All right, let's continue. She's now starting to... Oh! What was that? I mean, I mean, let's go back. I... Yeah, I f discovered something beautiful in there. It's a vocal technique, actually, that we do not usually hear from her. Let's, let's go back for a while. Did you hear that? It was a growl. Okay? She used a growl in this particular section of the song. A beautiful and a very, very efficient and effective growl. Again, let's go back. That was so beautiful. Ah. Ah. 
Oh my! That iconic note in that song. Wow! Notice how she manipulated her hands. Yeah, her hands when she was about to really hit that iconic note in that song. Her hands are something like so, so mobile and something like so, so unstoppable. Because I know she's preparing herself so that she could really hit that high beautiful and iconic note in there let's go back let's uh, look at her hands that are those beautiful and you know beautiful and uh, unstoppable hands okay and let's also find out what uh, note was that one that super note that iconic note in the song okay all right ah uh. One. The hands. I tried to really reach that note, to hit that note, but I really could not. I mean, using my falsetto, even using my falsetto, I really could not hit that note because that's super, super high. And let's locate. What note is that? Where is that? Ah, it's here. Ah, no. I'm sorry. I really could not hit that one. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh, my. But it's something here. It's something like A flat 5. It's an A flat 5. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Just a little while. It's unbelievable. She's getting unstoppable here. That's the outro of the song. And another one. Oh, yeah. Whew, those beautiful, super, super high notes. Again, let's go back. Let's go back to that second high note that she belted. Um, it's a mixed voice, actually. It's a mixed voice. Let's find out what note where those okay ah. Ah. where is that uh, here again it's an A flat 5 yeah yeah, it's an A flat 5 again. So the, those three iconic notes are in A flat 5. You know, A flat 5 is a very, very super, super high notes for a female voice. Especially when the singer is using her chest voice, when she is belting the note using her chest voice. Or her mixed voice. That's super, super high. Super, super high. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Ah, that super gentle, cool, and soft fall. Ah. ah. Oh, those beautiful ribs. Wow. That gentle, cool, smooth, soft fall. 
that was so great. Wow. Ah, I do not know what to say. But for me, Gigi is one of the Philippines' finest gems in music industry. I mean, if you put Gigi alongside and among other top female vocalists, I mean, she can be easily noticed because for me, she is highly noticeable. Gigi is one amazing, effective vocal interpreter with those amazing vocal prowess that she has and that uh, astonishing vocal techniques and performance that she showcased in this song plus that uh, enticing you know beauty and charm that she possesses yeah no wonder no doubt Gigi is a total package and one thing more she can easily for me she can easily conquer the international music arena and one thing more Gigi can absolutely ace the local and international awards that's all I can say for Gigi okay I'm so happy with my reaction today to Gigi Delana's cover of the song through the fire and uh, yeah I'm so happy I'm so satisfied I'm so so ecstatic about my reaction today uh, it went so smooth and I like the way Gigi performed it I like the way Gigi um, rendered the song and uh, covered the song it's so so beautiful so so good so so pleasing to the ears excellent one thing more excellent smart whatever ah all adjectives all positive adjectives for Gigi in this particular uh, song that she covered I would also would like to you know cover some of her songs later but if you want to request uh, for me to react to some of her songs then just uh, put it down write it down in the comment section and uh, if you are new to my channel then please consider subscribe to my channel by clicking subscribe and then please like it and then share this link to your friends and to your connections and also please uh, click the notification bell below so that you will be immediately notified and informed whenever i have some new uploads so that's all for today thank you so much for being with me thank you so much for the time you spent with me thank you so much for the support to my channel and uh, let's call it a very beautiful, inspiring, and through the fire day. So, my name is Ruel again. Thank you so much. Sayonara. Thank you so much. Bye, bye, and bye.